Warning. Before starting the installation, make sure that there is no voltage on the connection cables. Activities related to installation, connection and adjustment should be performed by a qualified electrician who has read the operating instructions and the functions of the device. The ZPM3012 power supply belongs to the modular power supply family Exter, manufactured by XAML. Thanks to the impulse design, the device provides maximum power while minimizing losses, high efficiency and small dimensions. The device symbol contains information about the power and voltage generated by the device. The first two letters inform about the type of device. The third letter indicates the form of the housing, M a modular DIN enclosure. Then the first number of symbols indicates the power of the device. The second number indicates the voltage generated by the power supply. There are versions available. 30 watt it is ZPM 30 twelfths and ZPM 30 24. 60 watt it is ZPM 60 twelfths and ZPM 60 24. 100 watt this is ZPM 100 twelfths and ZPM 100 24. The device has terminals, L, and N for connecting the 230 volt AC supply voltage. Positive terminal marked as plus on which a positive DC voltage potential exists. Negative terminal marked as minus on which a negative DC voltage potential exists. The green LED. Marked as DC, OK. The output voltage generated by the power supply can be adjusted by means of the ADJ potentiometer. For the ZPM power supply family, the following adjustments are possible. 12 volt DC power supplies, 10.8 volt DC voltage to the output of the power supply. 13.2 volt DC power supply 24 volt DC. Voltage from 21.6 volt DC to 26.4 volt DC. Put the power supply on a DIN rail. Clamps will be helpful. Provide 230 volt power supply. The phase wire from the circuit breaker goes to the L terminal of the power supply. The neutral wire goes to the N terminal of the power supply. In order to show the power supply's operation, put an example of 12 volts receiver, which is electromagnetic relay PM01012. Connect the minus wire. and the plus one of the power supply.
After applying the power supply voltage, check the operation of the power supply. A correct voltage value of 12 volt appears on the receiver's terminals. The green LED marked DC OK indicates the correct operating conditions of the power supply. The LED on the front panel informs about the state of the PEM01 relay. To make the correction of the output voltage, the ADJ rotary potentiometer needs to be turned. The multimeter indicates the voltage changes at the power supply output. It was possible to set the voltage at 13.82 volt level. By reducing, the power supply voltage managed to descend to the level of 10.43 volt. Set the nominal voltage at 12.13 volt. Such settings allow adaptation of ZPM power supplies for various applications. They also eliminate power losses occurring in installations with longer connection cables.